Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, we will discuss how you can create your own penetration testing lab. Having the ability to create a lab environment is crucial for both studying and performing engagements in the field. There are many different tools, systems, and applications that you could include in your lab, and in this video we will help you get started. The first step is to download an operating system preloaded with penetration testing tools. To do this, download a Kali Linux image and install it within a virtual environment. Many penetration testing tools come pre-installed on a Kali machine that cover areas such as information gathering, vulnerability analysis, password attacking and cracking, exploitation, sniffing and spoofing, plus many more. Exploitation frameworks can significantly speed up the exploitation process. One of the most popular exploitation frameworks is Metasploit. Metasploit enables attackers to easily exploit a wide range of vulnerabilities. Your Kali machine will come pre-installed with the Metasploit framework and can be accessed by using the MSF console command. Run the Metasploit framework on your Kali machine and try out the many features it has to offer. Vulnerability scanners are applications which store a wide range of known vulnerabilities. These scanners can be used to automatically identify vulnerabilities in host machines or web applications. OpenVAS is an open-source vulnerability scanner which you can install locally or via a Docker image. A link is supplied in the box below. Try scanning a machine or web application within your lab using OpenVAS and see what vulnerabilities you can identify. Software vendors are constantly battling against newly discovered vulnerabilities. A great penetration testing lab will contain many different operating system versions to test out patched and unpatched exploitation methods. We suggest downloading Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows Server 2003. See if you can identify vulnerabilities associated with particular versions and try to exploit them. An exploit you could try against your Windows XP virtual machine is Eternal Blue. Metasploit includes many Eternal Blue exploits for you to try out. The final step in developing your penetration testing lab is to download the DAM Vulnerable Web Application. This application comes pre-configured with many common exploits for you to test. Check out the OWASP Top 10 and see if you can perform any of the most common web exploits against your DVWA. After following this guide, you should now have a wide range of vulnerable machines and applications at your disposal, alongside a machine to perform the exploits with. Your lab topology should look similar to this. You will need to configure your network settings as a NAT network so your virtual machines can talk to each other. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!